people's Christmas presents or, or car parts, I suppose, but um, you know, they're looking for money. So I thought it was our neighbors at first. I just, I grabbed it all. I took it down to Peach on Post Office and that's when we realized that the addresses were from Talis Ridge. So they must have broken in there and then someone's rifling through those packages as they're driving to the next bank because there was nothing here from our addresses. So I don't know where our stuff has ended up. Multiple Canada Post mailboxes have been broken into across the Okanagan with several packages being stolen. One Peachland resident told me she came down to this mailbox on a Friday morning to find packages ripped apart with addresses as far as Talis Ridge in West Kelowna. This mailbox was wide open and there was packages everywhere. Um, there was Toyota car parts, there was a package from Granny ripped open, homemade Christmas ornaments and cards, pictures. And of course, if there was gift cards or any other valuable gifts, they're gone. When I'd left for school to drive my kids that morning, I'd seen a bunch of garbage. So I decided to go down the driveway and check it out. And I actually found 10 different people's ripped open mail packages. And a girlfriend of mine had made handmade a stocking for our baby's first Christmas. That was delivered, it said on the tracking number, Thursday morning. So that was taken. So that made me pretty upset. One of our neighbors saw some people at 3 a.m with a key and when he went out there to see what was going on they ran. We're assuming that's a stolen key and I'm guessing a master key because they were able to take more than one person's mail and it was all Thursday evening. This isn't our first issue this year. Um, we had these two banks on the left hand side completely physically stolen this summer. These new super boxes are supposed to be more secure but we seem to be having more problems now that we've got these bigger boxes. I know there was a lot of special gifts being delivered that are now gone and it's very sad. I mean, just leave that, leave it on the road, leave it somewhere. Residents said they would like more communication from Canada Post and would like to know what's being done to prevent this from happening in the future. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Peachland. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net.